on YouTube. Today's video, we're gonna be doing some striped bass fishing. Me and my dad are going to Bathurst, New Brunswick today. We're gonna be doing some striped bass fishing there. Um, I've never tried fishing there before, but uh, he has a friend that lives out there that we're gonna go visit. So uh, he's gonna show us around, show us a spot we can fish, and uh, he's gonna come out and fish with us too. I'm excited to uh, fish there. So the regulations there are different than I'm used to for striped bass. So we're gonna have to review the regulations there, but I know the slot size is uh, quite a bit smaller than it is where I'm used to fishing for them. So uh, I have a much better chance, I think, at getting a keeper. Uh, I really hope I can get one for the first time. I've never caught a slot size striped bass, so I've never caught one that was big enough for me to keep. Um, but uh, if I catch one that was the size of my biggest one I've caught, it, it would be a keeper. So uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get something. Um, it's about a five hour drive for us. So uh, hopefully it'll be worth the trip. <laughs> <laughs> Crab. <laughs> well, I, I got one. Oh, did I lose it? I think I lost it. Yeah. Was that you? No, that's another bass there. Ooh. That was me. I'm trying to get to the same distance that that one was at. Really? Uh, yeah, he was, I just said you can't argue with results, eh? Oh wow, <laughs> it's even bigger than the last one. Looks like it. Nice. <laughs> I wish I got the cast on, uh, on film too. Oh one. Just saw something big flash there. Jack's got one. Oh yeah? Yeah. Did you just cast it out too? <laughs> oh, that's what nice. That's three so far, and we still need to catch one. <laughs> oh, wow. I keep getting seaweed. Oh, two of them. Nice. That's five so far. Yeah. <laughs> what are you using for bait? Okay. Did you just cast? You got something. You got something? Yeah. Nice. Nice. That's a big one. That's a big one. Yes. There you go. That's a keeper, I think. Oh, yeah. That's huge. Uh, 
Do you got your measuring tape on? Uh, we got the stick. Oh yeah, pass the stick. Nice. Alright. Got one. Oh yeah, like 20 feet from shore. There we go. Alright, here we go. There's a nice little bass. What? Uh, yeah. Oh, careful. Uh, so where's the starting line? Start is here. It's between those two. Oh, no. It's under. That's probably like 17, 16. Nice. You got one on? Yep. Nice. Oh, I got one on too. I didn't even cast close this time. Whew. Oh yeah, this is crazy right now. Woo! Okay. This one's probably too small. Decent one though. Probably 17 inches. Whew. Noise. Okay, this is a good one. Oh yeah! Come on, personal best, come on! Oh! Oh, that's my personal best, oh my god! No way. Oh, oh, hook me. That was good. That was close. He's too big, you're gonna have to keep him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Woo. <laughs> Will you get your camera out, Dad? Hold, hold it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we're back from the New Brunswick trip now. Uh, we had a great trip out there. We all caught a whole bunch of fish. Unfortunately though, the action didn't really pick up until the sun started going down. So uh, my GoPro wasn't able to pick up most of the action. But uh, we caught a lot of fish that night. So it was my first time ever catching a keeper and I, I got to break my personal best record by uh, about five inches. Caught a nice 28 inch one there. That is a little bit over a slot size, so that had to be released, but uh, I'm super happy. Finally got one that size, you know. So yeah, now we're gonna cook some of that up. I've re never really uh, cooked striped bass before, because uh, I've never got my own keeper, but uh, yeah, we're gonna try it out, see how it goes. So I've never, never filleted a striped bass before, but I'm gonna give it my best shot now. Didn't get it all in one piece, but uh, we got a nice big fillet here. So now I'm just making up a uh, sauce. Um, I want to do like uh, an Asian style sauce. I'm thinking <clears throat> like a sweet eel sauce, like a unadon sauce, um, but with 
ginger, garlic, and a little bit of chili. So uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna be adding to a pot, three quarter cups of soy sauce. Now I'm gonna mix with that three quarter cups of sake, it's uh, rice wine. quarter cup of brown sugar. It might be a little heavy on the garlic, but uh, I can live with that. I'm gonna have to chop up some ginger. Let's do a little more ginger than that. Now I'm gonna cut the rest of this ginger, just uh, put up right on the fish while I'm cooking it. Now let's fire up this sauce and get started here. Now I'm just gonna bring it to a slight boil and then reduce the heat and simmer for, um, I don't know, we'll see, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Now, first thing I'm gonna do with this filet here, um, I'm not gonna bother skinning it. Some people like to, I, uh, I don't always. And I've never, I don't know if I've ever eaten striped bass with the skin on before, so uh, I'm going to try it. But uh, before cooking it with the skin on, I'm going to... Now, I'm not sure if scoring the skin is necessary for this, but uh, I know with some fish, I know that with some fish, if you don't score the skin before you cook it, uh, when it cooks, the skin will just coil right up and uh, it'll really uh, make it hard to cook and it'll ruin the shape of your filet because it'll want to curl in on itself, right? So I'm gonna do this just to be safe. All right, now that this is coming to a nice simmer here, I'm gonna reduce the heat a bit. We'll try a low medium because uh, we don't want to burn the sauce. All right, so now that uh, we've got a nice simmer going and we've reduced the temperature, I'm gonna add a nice, uh, Nice pinch of chili flakes. Um, be careful how much you add because if you're sensitive to spicy food, you might want to use less than I did. I definitely enjoy spicy food, so uh, I added a uh, healthy amount there. But this sauce would be uh, probably just fine without it if you wanted to skip the chilies. So this is what I added here, uh, just red crushed chilies. I think I've heard somebody say that you should cut the uh, red part out of the meat for the flavor. Um, I don't know if that's true from experience, so um, I'm not gonna do that this time. And uh, see how that goes. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll be the judge of that. If you see your sauce starting to boil, make sure you turn it down. 
so you don't want it to burn. Now I'm throwing some of the ginger and garlic on the fish. And then when the sauce is ready, I'm gonna put some sauce on and bake it all in the oven. Just a little bit of salt. And some ground pepper. Not too much. Hopefully it's not too late, but uh, I'm gonna add some uh, sesame oil. Yeah, I almost forgot. Just gonna put up. I'm gonna put some olive oil on this fish so it doesn't uh, burn while it's cooking. Uh, sauce was taking forever, so uh, I'm gonna try at a slight boil instead of a simmer. Turn up the heat just a little bit. Cause uh, what I'm looking for is to reduce the sauce until it's, uh, until it's thicker. I want this uh, I want this sauce to be thick enough that I can basically thick enough that it'll be uh, able to be spread on the fish and stick to it without uh, just running off right I'm gonna cut some green onions up later there we go it's just how I like to cut them cut them however you want if you're gonna try this recipe at home definitely start the sauce first um, if you're doing a smaller batch of sauce, it won't take as long, but uh, I tripled the recipe that I found online because I don't want to, I don't want to make a small amount of sauce, I want a good amount. Reduce the hell out of this sauce, so uh, it should be nice and thick now. So I'm going to take this and spread it on the fish. Now I'm going to save some of this sauce for after the fish is done cooking. Oh, this is going to be good. Yeah, you know we're doing both sides. Bass, all sauced, ready to go. Got it wrapped up in tin foil, and now we're gonna throw it in the oven. We the oven preheated to uh, 350. Right. So this bass looks nice and cooked now. Looks delicious. Now I'm gonna reheat this little bit of sauce I got left, and we're gonna pour the rest over it. Once I uh, once I'm ready to plate it, I'm serving this bass with a uh, dish of Belizean rice and beans. Now I'm gonna top it with my green onion. Just like that. And we're gonna take the rest of the sauce that I just reheated and pour it over top. You. That should be good. Look at that. Oh my god. This is so good. This is really good. Mm. So I've been I've been trying for years to get a keeper striped bass. No exaggeration, I've literally been trying for at least two years, two seasons. Um 
Yeah, this is a taste of success. All that hard work just makes it that much more satisfying, right? There's so much meat to it too. This portion here is just uh, half of the filet, and that was only one filet off of the fish. So it's, yeah, it's really good. I'm gonna have lots of meat to save from it. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you like and subscribe and leave some comments if you want to. If you want the recipe for uh, Belizean rice and beans, I can share that too. It's really good. One of my favorite rice dishes. Yeah, that's it for today. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.